Hello and welcome to Swagger Hub, a collaborative platform where you can design and manage your API definitions throughout their lifecycle. Swagger Hub has two Amazon API Gateway integrations available, Amazon API Gateway and Amazon API Gateway Lambda Sync. The first one, Amazon API Gateway, also known as a proxy, is for when you have an existing API server and want to add a management layer on top of it. And Lambda Sync is for a new API for which you want to develop a backend using Lambda functions. In this video, you will learn how to set up the Amazon API Gateway integration and publish your Swagger Hub definitions directly to the gateway in the proxy mode. If you want to use Lambda functions as the backend for your API, watch our video about the Lambda Sync integration. The link to it is in the video description. First, we need to create a user in Amazon with the appropriate permissions. In the Amazon AWS console, type IAM in the Find Services search box. Go to Users and add a new user. This user needs programmatic access only. Next, we need to attach a policy to this user to grant the necessary permissions. For this integration, we need the Amazon API Gateway Administrator policy, which allows us to push directly to Amazon API Gateway from Swagger Hub. And now, we have an access key and a secret key. Make sure to copy both keys and store them somewhere safe. Now let's go to Swagger Hub. This is an Open API 3.0 pet store definition. While AWS supports most of the Open API specification, there are some limitations. Read about known limitations in the AWS documentation and make sure your definition is compatible with Amazon. Otherwise, you'll see some integration errors. Let's add the Amazon API Gateway integration to the definition. Give the integration a friendly name, as you can have multiple integrations in the same API definition. Select the region you want to publish to. Since we're creating a new API in Amazon, we'll leave the API ID blank. If you have an existing API you want to update from Swagger Hub, you'll need to specify the API ID that you can find in the Amazon console here. For publish mode, let's use overwrite. Each time we update the API definition on Swagger Hub, the existing API gateway in AWS will be overwritten with a definition from Swagger Hub. The base path mode controls how to create API gateway endpoints, with or without the base path. This option corresponds to the base path property of the Amazon import procedure. We'll use ignore. The deployment mode must be on save. Here, deployment refers to the action of pushing the definition to the API gateway. It doesn't refer to the AWS deploy API action. The server to proxy to is the server from our API definition. Do not add a slash at the end here. Finally, paste your Amazon access key and secret key. That's it. From now on, every time you save your API definition on Swagger Hub, the corresponding API in Amazon will be updated. Let's go back to the Amazon console and go to the API gateway where we can find the API we've just created. If you don't see the API, make sure that you're on the same region that you used for the integration. The API resources in the gateway are created based on the API definition in Swagger Hub. Let's make some changes to the API definition in Swagger Hub and see how it will be updated in Amazon. For example, rename the order ID parameter of the get and delete order operations. And that's it. Now every time you save your API definition on Swagger Hub, it gets synced and updated in Amazon. Let's have a closer look at the get method for order. As we can see, it's configured to proxy the request to the corresponding pet store endpoint. So are all the resources. Swagger Hub does all the plumbing for you. You don't have to map them out manually. We can also send a request to test the gateway. There we go. The gateway handles the request, forwards the data to the backend endpoint, and receives the response. To test our API gateway externally, we'll deploy it to a stage. Let's call it development. This gives us a public URL to use as the base path for calls to our API gateway. We'll use this base path, append the resource path, and specify the order ID to test the API in the browser, and see if it has successfully proxied. With this approach, you can test get methods. To test other methods, use the curl command line tool or other API testing tools like SOAP UI. Now we can go back to Swagger Hub and specify the stage as the target server in the definition to test the API calls through the Amazon proxy from Swagger Hub. Select the server in the interactive docs panel. Now you can send API calls to the API gateway. You can continue building your API gateway in AWS. You can add rate limits, configure authorizers, create usage plans, or configure a custom domain name for your API gateway. 
Swagger Hub can greatly accelerate your API development process. We hope this video helped you learn how to integrate your API definition with Amazon API Gateway. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, check out our documentation, videos, and online community on our support portal.